Good morning. I'm at St. Mary's Church in Cromford, Derbyshire. I've come to explore some murals. So enjoy the video. In 1792, Sir Richard Arkwright, the owner of the cotton mills near to the river in Cromford, had commissioned and founded the building of a chapel, now St Mary's Church, for himself, his family and for the community. Unfortunately, Sir Richard died soon after this, but the building was completed by his son, also Richard Arkwright. It was opened on the 4th of June 1797 and consecrated on 20th of September 1797 by the Bishop of Lichfield as a daughter church of the parish of Worksworth. It was not until the 17th of March 1869 that St Mary's became the parish church of Cromford. Early records describe the original building as a stone-built preaching box, presumably due to its square nave. Between 1858 and 1859, the original building was Gothicized by an enlargement of a chancel arch and an extension to that chancel, the remodelling of the windows, the addition of a tower and the large entrance porch, but retained the wide open area of the nave. The architect for this development was a Darby based Henry Isaac Stevens. To mark the centenary of a church and also Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, the stained glass window at the east end and the magnificent mural paintings were started in the mid-1880s by Alfred Octavius Hemming, a London-based artist and were completed by the turn of a century. By the middle of the 20th century, there had been considerable damage to the murals and to other parts of the church due to water infiltration and dry rot. And in the 1970s, some of the damaged plaster was removed and consequently large areas of the paintings were lost. With the help of grants from various organisations, In addition to donations locally, it became possible in 2002 to begin restoration work on the murals. This was carried out by the War Paintings Workshop of Faversham, as well as restoring and cleaning the original paintings. Those that had been completely lost were recreated from photographic records of the originals. The war paintings are a striking feature of St Mary's and a choice of biblical images incorporated into the scheme have been thoroughly chosen to convey the revelation of God through the Old and New Testament. I love the detail of the murals, the borders of stencil floral scroll work which has intertwined lilies, which are the flowers associated with St Mary. I can't help but think the art and craft movement had some impact on the original painters of the murals. Having travelled extensively, I have seen many churches with frescoes, and to promote a local church and its frescoes was an important consideration for making this short documentary. I hope you enjoy the documentary and maybe one day you will visit the church.